Welcome to Laravel Rest Run Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the admin see the order data in the admin panel. So for it, let me just log into the admin panel. I will set here admin at the end of gmail.com. Uh, then I will click the password here. Click on login. There you can see it took us to the admin page. So here, what we are going to do is that we are going to have a orders option here. And when the admin click on orders option, it will show the admin all the order from the order table. So for it, let's go back to our code. And this time, we'll just directly go to the resource. Then here you can see views. Inside views, we have admin folder. And inside admin folder, uh, here you can see we have the sidebar.blade.php. So let me just cut those or close those. And here you can see in the sidebar.blade.php, we have food, add food and view option. And here you can see it says login page. So instead of login page, we're going to set here orders. So let me just say here orders. And let me just write it like this so that you can understand it clearly. So inside the li tag, we have the anchor tag. There you can see. So right now, if we just save this, then if we refresh here, there you can see it is showing us an orders option. So on the one is that when you click on orders, it will show us all the orders from the order table. So for it, here uh, in this a shape, we will write a URL. So let me just give to second bracket, then we'll say here URL to first bracket, then to single position. Inside it, let's say that URL name would be only orders. Right now, we need to create a route for this. So let's go to our routes, then web.php. And here, I'm going to copy a route. Let me just copy this route. Control C, then paste it here. So the route will be get and the route name will be orders. Let me just copy this and paste it here. And since we are working with the admin panel, so we will use the admin controller. So we are going to set here admin controller and the function name will be orders. So let's save this and right now we'll go to the admin controller and create this function. So let's go to our app, then HTTP, then controller and here you can see admin controller. So let's go down and here we are going to say public function. Our function name was orders to first bracket, then to second bracket. We're going to set here return view and we need to create a view. Let's say that view will be in the admin folder and the view name will be order. Right now we need to create order.bread.php in the admin folder. For it, we'll go to the admin folder, just right click on the admin folder, then click on new file and the file name will be order.blade.php. So for now, we are going to say here simple HTML in the warning, we are going to say H on order page. If we now save, what will happen? Let me just explain. Whenever someone click on this order option, it will call this URL and our URL will call the admin controller order function, which is this on and this function will return us to this view, which is this on. If we now save this, then refresh here. Then click on orders, it will show us this order base. Obviously, you want to see the admin base design here. For it, we are going to copy some pool. So here, whatever you, you are seeing here is coming from the admin folder uh, in the shop grade.php from here. So I'm going to copy everything from here, control A, control C. After that, we go to our order.bread.php and we are going to paste whatever we just copied from the in the shop grade.php. So control C. From here, we are going to keep the admin.css, the header and the side part. But we we'll remove this admin.body from here. If we save this, then refresh here. And if we now click on orders, it will show us this design. There you can see. And the body part is empty. So here, we are going to create a table. And in that table, we are going to show the order data. So this is really simple. Here, we are going to mention a table tag. Let's say here, table. And in that table tag, we're going to have some table row and uh, table data and table data. First of all, we're going to set dr. In that dr, we're going to set th. Let me just copy this th and uh, let me just check 
in the order table we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 data here so we are going to paste the th 8 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then 8 and 9 so the first one we let's say we'll show the user details first let's say here customer name then we'll show the customer email let's just say email then phone then this will be address let's say here address after that we'll show the product details first of all we'll show the product title on the food title let's say here food title then we'll show the food price or let's show the quantity first quantity and then it will be food price this will be food image and this will be delivery status let's say here delivery underscore status or i think only status will be good let's just say here status if we now save this then refresh here there you can see we have those table data but obviously we will make it look like it been but first of all let's go and have some table data so here we are going to say dr in that dr we said td right now let's just say here a b c and let me just copy we are going to paste it again nine times one two three four five six seven eight and nine save it refresh and there you can see so we are going to create some simple design here for it just go back and first of all we write some CSS for the table tag then for the TH tag then for the TD tag let's get the top here in the head section we are going to say style inside the style let's mention the table tag to second bracket we are going to say border it will be on PA solid sky blue for the table let's also say here margin to do it auto and the table width, let's say it will be 1000 pixel. If we now set this, then refresh, it will look like this. And let's have those in the center. And let's also write some CSS for the TH first. Let's say here TH to second bracket, TH means the table header. We're going to set a text color, it will be white. Font weight, it will be bold then we're going to set font size on the table header will be 28 pixel let's say i think 28 pixel is too big let's set one two pixel and let's also mention text align it will be center and the last thing will be the background color for the table header background color background color it will be let's say red let's save it then if we now refresh it would look like this and let me add some padding here let's say here padding it will be 10 pixel and the font size i think 18 will look better so after this we are going to write some css uh, for the td tag or it again let me just say here td then to second bracket okay i can just copy those from here on close scene and control T and for the TD we are going to do the font size from here and the background color from here and everything else is fine if we now save it then refresh it will look like obviously instead of showing the dummy data we want to show the data from the order table that is really simple as you already know we'll just go to the admin controller first and first of all we need to add the or a table model name so let me just go at the top of the admin controller then we're going to say add use app backslash model backslash it will be order model name then we'll go down uh, in this public function order we're going to declare variable let's say dollar data equal to we will mention the order table model name our clone all we'll get the all data from the order table then we send this dollar data to this view so we say here comma compact it will be data so right now let's go to this view and show all the order table 
data. So for it, uh, here you can see the tier, right? So before this tier, we are going to mention a for each loop. So we say here at the end of for each, we mention the dollar data here, dollar data as dollar data, and this dollar data is coming from here. And this for each loop will end at the end of the tier path. So we say here at the end of in for each. After that, we'll be able to show the data from the database table on by on. So here, we'll give to second bracket like this. Then we'll mention this dollar data over here. Then this arrow sign. And first of all, we have the customer name. And in the order table, the name we write over here like this. Name, email, address, phone, title, quantity, price, image, and delivery status. So we're going to write those on by on. So the first one will be name. I can just type to copy this and paste it here. This one will be email. Then this one will be phone. We'll say they are phone. Then this will be address. Let's say they are address. After that, we have the title for the food. So we'll say here title. This one will be the let me check uh, quantity. Let's say here quantity, then we have the price. Price, this one will be the, I think, uh, image, then status. Okay, let's say here for image, it is a little bit of different. As you already know, we need to say here image. In the source, we need to mention where we store our image and we store our image in the public food underscore image folder. So let me say here food underscore image folder name slash then we need to mention the image name here and the image name is dollar data image and let's also mention the width let's say width will be on 100 pixel and this will be the device status so we are going to say here delivery underscore status i think everything is fine so right now we will set it then refresh here. Then you can see we are able to see all the data from the order table with the image properly. And I think quantity is missing. Let me check. I think I did a spelling mistake. Q U A N. Okay, I did a spelling mistake. Let me save it. Then refresh again. And there you go. So in the next tutorial, we are able to let the admin change the product status from in progress to cancel or deliver. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.